good memory that I had from this year, I mean, at the very beginning at Scioto Hills, we had some really good times. I know uh, myself, Stu, and Seabass up in the top bunk of the, uh, of the cabin, just talking in our country accents and stuff. And then um, we had a good practice at Coach's High School. So we had some good times at Scioto. Um, ate too much at Coach's parents' house, probably, but it was just a good time bonding and getting everybody together uh, before the season started. So that was, that was a good memory for us. Probably one of my favorite memories of the year would probably have to be in New Orleans when we were just walking through the city and guys were just singing the Sea Fight song, um, just being real obnoxious and goofy. Uh, so that was pretty funny. Uh, probably one of my favorites would be definitely the Central State game. Uh, Cuffy's dunk at the end was kind of one of those uh, unique moments of the team where we kind of were able to celebrate and it was just kind of a uh, kind of a fun moment for us. One of my favorite memories of the season is just our trip to Tulane. Um, we had a sweet bus, a bunch of TVs, couches, beds, and uh, I just remember uh, there was a curtain that was over our bed uh, which just kept it dark going to sleep and I remember waking up and my curtain was completely gone. Marcus and Lane took it off and just kept messing with me. They wouldn't let me sleep. They were just constant nuisance to me. It's one of my favorite stories about BG. Uh, we were at Saida Hills and I think we were chopping wood that day and uh, one of the guys found a, a toad on the ground and they like tossed it over to BG and it hit him, I think it hit him in the shoulder and I never seen anybody, a grown man, run and scream away like a little girl like, like that day that BG did. <laughs> uh, one of my funny stories about BG is uh, at Saido Hills on the Goliath Swing. Uh, BG's, BG's pretty afraid of heights, so um, we put him up on the glass swing. He did not want to go on it, uh, so we lifted him up a little bit and kept pulling the rope, and he's like, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, and we just, we gave it a huge yank, and we took him up probably, probably seven feet off the ground, and he was just not having it. Just looks down and just has this frown on his face, just like, just a, just a really upset look. Um, that was pretty funny, that was one of my favorite memories from him. I enjoy playing with him, like against him in practice, because that's like we play the same position, so we always go up head to head with each other. So um, every day it's just a new story. Um, Brian is always, you know, like I mean he's pretty good, so you have to like try to figure out different ways of you know beating him. Every day is like a, a dog fight in there. Um, so it's been re a real pleasure playing with him because like he teaches everyone that. They have to play hard or else. The first thing that comes to my mind when I think of BG is just work ethic. Uh, coach did it all year long. He never had a bad practice and I'll never forget walking into practice every morning at like 6.30. He's already in there sweating, getting shots up and just working hard before it even started. BG, I just have one thing to say to you. Come on! When I think of BG, I think of someone who brought it to practice hard every day, and that's one thing I try to improve on is consistency. You know, some days I can just, uh, you know, feel like not really working hard, and I think learning from BG, uh, seeing him just go hard every day is just like something special. Um, whether he's not really feeling it or if he's just, you know, having a bad day, he still he leaves all his uh, problems off the court. So I think that's really one thing, when I think of BG, that's what I think of. Um, where to start? Uh, I guess my four years here, uh, favorite moments. Uh, I definitely go on the side of the hills, um, just doing all of that crazy stuff um, for what, a couple of days, the weekend. And then uh, having a big meal at Coach Eastep's uh, parents' house, I, I look forward to that. But. I guess the most memorable time of Side of the Hills is dressing up in the wacky costumes, sometimes running through the rain. Those are some um, good times. Um, overall though, like I think majority of the things that I would miss is the bus rides. Uh, just chilling with the boys, just being silly, being crazy, laughing, talking about, you know, just life in general. Um, but yeah, those are some good moments. Yeah.